Hello, people, and welcome to another edition of yours. Troy Josiah Reels here today with another reaction. Let's go right ahead and get to it. Corday, The Parables, the official music video. Um, I am a big fan of Corday, formerly known as YBN Corday. You already know what it is. Happening around, around. I guess we oh, say. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah he, he, he ain't with the YBN no more. <laughs> nah, they, they, nah, they doing their own thing. I'm not, not everyone wants to do his own thing. He wants to do his own thing, and I'm sure all my J wants to do his own thing as well. So, yep, they're no longer a collective. <laughs> um, seeing that that they do different styles and different ways of doing rap, you know, I think they're still good. They, they still buzz. Corday confirmed that they still cool. Um, but that he wants to do his own thing and you know, challenges his own narrative and his own path. So, mm -hmm. nothing wrong with that. Um, but in the meantime, let's go right ahead and get to it. Um, we got the Parables, the official music video. And so, ladies and gentlemen, please do me a favor and like, comment, subscribe, and views. Put your minds out there. The link of this song will be down in my description below. All right. Core Day, the Parables, and we'll do a lyrical breakdown once the song is over. So, here we go. Oh, I'm with my brother. <laughs> Sorry about that. I like that, that short you wears. Protect your energy from poison when a python strike. My first mistake was doing robberies on Nikon bikes. Watch my moves and I'ma show you what an icon like. Y'all let bygones be bygones, right? Nigga, fuck your truce, bust your move. And if that nigga touch your shoes, you better blast on them. And no, my mama nigga, I'ma get that cash on them. Hunted on a dash on them, swerve. Born from the trench, you from the birds, nigga. Fuck the early bird, nigga. I'ma get this motherfucking chicken. And if a nigga ever got a problem, nigga, we can fucking solve it on my mama, nigga. I just been itching to prove myself. I just pray throughout the struggle, I don't lose myself. Block no safety plaques and coat, I might shoot myself. They catching bullets like two Odells, and nigga, you gon' tell. But I can tell you about the time was going hard up in the paint, and I can tell you shit that other niggas can't. Let me tell you, I can tell you about the time I had to drop a nigga rank, and I can tell you shit I did up off the drink. Let me tell you, I can tell you about the time I signed a deal for 20 bands and used that shit to get my brother out the can. Let me tell you, I can tell you about the time I had a penny in the plan. I can tell you shit, but you won't understand. Let me tell you. First and foremost, for every door that's Open the door closed, be the nigga, take his bordos, upgrade my wardrobe, and Lord knows, living like this, it leaves a short road, a dead end, or prison time where we was head in, instead when I got bread, broke it with brethren, eyes open, leave the house, move like a veteran, made a couple crazy. dollars from comers, my yeah, niggas yeah. flexing, nigga got a problem, then I can make some corrections, okay, cool, still with the same niggas since grade school, give a fuck about your shade room, when I had made room for everybody <laughs> on that late moon, and were the race room, had to bring the motherfucking Swank on them, and I ain't even wanna have to blank on them. That lamb truck got a full tank on them, but a nigga better not look at me wrong. It's certain shit that I can't say on the song. But let me tell you, nigga. I can tell you about the time was going hard up in the paint, and I can tell you shit that other niggas can't. Let me tell you, I can tell you about the time I had to drop a nigga rank, and I can tell you shit I did up off the drink. Let me tell you, I can tell you about the time I signed a deal for 20 bands and used that shit to get my brother out the can. Let me tell you, I can tell you about the time I had. Had a penny in the plan. I can tell you shit, but you won't understand. Let me tell you, nigga. You got a job, too. Going into this uh, music video, um, Giselle, how do you feel about Corday's The Parables? Mm, I thought he was like he snapping. He thought he was snapping, bro. It was cool to me. I like it. What do you about the beat? I like the beat. You feel me? Okay. It wasn't too bad. Yeah. It wasn't like no 
I don't know, it's real type beat, but it was it was enough for me to be like some. I'll hop on and do a freestyle to it. You know what I'm saying? For real, for real. Um, so from what I got, the song is a reference towards um, YBN telling some of his narratives, talking about like what it was like to be in his life, um, what he valued himself as a man, and how he got towards where he is today. You see what I'm saying? So I think I think that within itself is incredible. Shout out to uh, Corday, shout out to Nami and uh, Cardiac. For the production on the parables. Um, let's go right here and do a, a little break that one minus the intro. Um, the first verse. <clears throat> Done seen some stuff with my li within my lifetime. My light shine bright. Protect your energy from poison when the python strike. So, what do you think with those last two bars he's referencing when he says, uh, Done seen some stuff within my lifetime. My light shine bright. Protect your energy from poison when the python strike. That's hard. That's crazy. Um, yeah, uh, that's hard. Oh my son, Bert. Uh, you want to ask me? Mm hmm. You like, don't see some stuff in my lifetime to like shine bright. You feel me? I done been through a lot of mistakes to where now I corrected my own moves. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Now so my life That's a really right. good point. That's a really good point. It's a good. really I, good I, point. I'm taking it. Yeah. And, and Corday has, man, it, it, it reminds me of when he was talking about like being consolidated like on the uh, joint with um, Have Mercy. Right? You know what I'm saying? If you listen to The Lost Boy, the album, I, I love that album, by the way. Shout out to Corday for that album. Cannot wait for his next album to come out as well. He talked about being consolidated with a team and how you got to keep the, the team so consolidated. I forget what that word means, but I think it's about get, keeping it together as far as a glue, but not trying to let, you know, say protect your energy from poison when the python strike. Don't come around the snakes in the grass. Don't let the snakes in the grass hold you back from your potential to get you towards where you need to be. So protect your energy, meaning your energy can uh, uh, flourish, you know what I'm saying, over time, and, and it'll get you to a point uh, to a place where you'll be a lot more better in position. You know what I'm saying? So I'm mm -hmm. taking that line. Um, so I love that. Uh, my first mistake was doing robberies on Nikan bikes. Mm. Watch my moves, and I'm going to show you what an icon like. I like that. Okay. Y'all let bygones be bygones, right? Homie, forget your truce. Bust your move. And if that homie touch your shoes, you better blast on it on my mama, homie. I'm going to get the cash on them. On it on the dash on them. Swerve. Born from the trench, you you from the burbs. So the suburbs, you know what I'm saying, from the burbs. Um homie, forget the early bird. I'ma get this chicken. And if a homie ever got a problem, we can't we can we can solve it. You know what I'm saying? On oh, my mama. I just been itching to prove myself. I just prayed throughout the struggle I don't lose myself. You know what I'm saying? Glock no safety plastico, I might shoot myself. Ooh. They catching bullets like two Odells, and you gonna tell? But listen, that's hard. <laughs> that was hard. So you gonna catch him bullets like you know two Odells? You know Odell Beckham in the NFL catches footballs, which is an interception. You catch the football, or if you throw the football, you're a quarterback. You know what I'm saying? Quarterback, and but he's talking about catching like an interception, but catching bullets like two Odells. You know what I'm saying? So like bullets come at you. You know what I'm saying? Um, Repetitive, not even say repetitively, but like uh, repeatedly as a shooting fire, you know what I mean? At you. So I like that. Um, of course, I can tell you about the time what's going, I can tell you about the time what's going hard up in the paint. And I can tell you the stuff the other homies can't. Let me tell you. I can tell you about the time I had to drop a homie rank. And I can tell you stuff I did off, off the drink. Let me tell you. I can tell you about that time I signed a deal for 20 bands. And use the stuff to get my brother out the can. Let me tell you. I can tell you about the time I have plenty and a plan. I can tell you, but you won't understand. Let me tell you. You know what I'm saying? So, he, he's, I'm sure Corday has went through his fair share of trials and tribulations. He has come across in his interviews where he said that he's not on a war with me spirit. Like, oh, I'm going through this. Feel bad for me. He's like, no, don't feel bad for me because everyone goes through this. It's part of life. Everyone's human. You know what I'm saying? It's human nature. You know what I'm saying? Which I can respect and, you know, describe to that because at the end of the day, it's true. Sure. Um, so, yeah, man. I mean, how do you 
What do you What do you think about Corday's uh, level of, of getting to where he's at right now? You think he's on the verge of becoming one of the best artists we have? Because he is a great lyricist. That man can rap, like uh, freestyling wise. Like you see his freestyles on Power. I mean, LA Corday Lakers. live, but mm-hmm. he like one of the one ones where he'll make some hits, mm-hmm. go dry, make some hits, go dry. You think so? Well, no, nah, I ain't even gonna. Matter of fact, I ain't even gonna say go dry. I think I think he'll, I think I think he'll, he'll make proof. hits. He'll proof. But I, don't, I feel like he won't be as consistent. It's like he'll just sit back and wait till like certain, like special events he come, mm-hmm. and then he'll probably just put out a song on that, and then he'll do plays or something. That's how like Jay Cole is. In. He that's a good oh, point. Yeah. But he but he reminds me of a lot of Cole because they don't move. Based on what people want them to move on, yeah. they don't subscribe to like the like. Another thing about Cordae, what I love about him is that he don't subscribe to jewelry, like all the flashy. Yeah, I'm gonna brag about how much money I got, how much jewelry I got. And he he probably has it now, you know what I mean? But he probably but he's not one of those ones that's going to sugarcoat everything or give you so much of like, hey, I gotta be this way, be no, he's himself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And he does remind me of like Corday. I mean, I'm sorry, uh, J. Cole. You know what I mean? Who's my favorite rapper? As, as y'all already know, ladies and gentlemen, J. Cole's my favorite rapper. Um, but he gives me a lot of Corday, Cole vibes for sure. And the reason why I can say that is because I think this reminds me of a. Uh, I'm not saying it's gonna be his born center or anything like that, ladies and gentlemen. Um, but I do see him going to that direction of getting to a point where he'll have that one album that's going to do him justice, and maybe come. When he comes with his next project, it may do him fairly rare compared to, you know, The Lost Boy, which I think Lost Boy is slept on uh, lyrically and production wise. I think everything about that album was good. I love the concept behind that album too. Um, but he said in the first two, in verse two, he says, first and foremost, for every door that's open, a door closed. Mm, okay. Be a homie, take his Bordeaux, upgrade my wardrobe. And Lord knows, living like this, it leaves a short road. That's hard. It leaves a short road. You know what I'm saying? So stealing, taking away from somebody, karma comes back and taunts you. You know what I'm saying? Like, you think you're getting away with it already, but you at the same time, you're not really getting away with taking someone else's, I don't know, jewelry, shoes, clothes, yeah. jackets, hoodies, whatever yeah. it is, hats. You know what I mean? Just like living that life period. Yeah, it's not going it's not, it's not to manifest you well. It's not going to manifest. A dead end or prison time where we was heading. Instead, when I got bread, broken with brethren, you know what I'm saying? Eyes open, leave the house, move like a veteran. Made a couple dollars from come ups, my homie's flexing. Homie got a problem, then I can make some corrections. Okay, I like that. Okay, cool. Still with the same homie since grade school. Give him about your shade room when I when I had made room. I like that, you know what I'm saying? So if you want to throw shade on his account... Thinking you're getting away with what he's saying. Like if you want to throw with that hatred, oh, I don't like you because you're doing this. Um, that's cool. He has made it room for all that. He's he's prepared for that. You know, he's he's literally got to a point where such a he's so young, but like he moves by by integrity. Like he's like forty something years old right now. Like he's just really smart. Like very strategic. I think Corday is one of the smartest rappers to be in the game right now compared to most of his contemporaries, in my opinion. I think as far as the mumble rappers and all that, I I, I don't want to get to that. But anyways, for everybody on that on that uh, on that late moon, you know what I'm saying, come up to him on the late moon, me and like y'all just now want to get you know on his bandwagon. And word to Ray Shroom, you know what I'm saying. He said Ray Shroom, but Ray Shrim, Ray Ray Shrimmer had to bring the swing on him. So swing is a song by Ray Shimmer, you know. You know what I'm saying? I don't think you like the song, but yeah. I, I like the song by Ray Shimmer. Ray Shimmer is my, they my homies. Shout out to Slim Jimmy. Shout out to Sway Lee for uh, Swing off of um, Shrim Life 2, which is one of my favorite albums. But anyways, uh, I'm a fan, I know. Uh, and I ain't even want to have to blank on him. That lamb trunk got a full tank on him. But a homie better not look at me wrong. It's certain stuff that I can't say on this song. But let me tell you. I like that. I like that. You know what I'm saying? He's right. Because what he's saying is, and I like how he approaches that with the last line. Yeah. You can only give our generation so much. Our attention span nowadays aren't that great. Rappers nowadays are making two-minute, one-minute songs to get towards the generation of that wants to digest towards music. Because back then, it was like, here's a three-minute, four-minute, five-minute song. Yeah. Now, personally for me, 
I subscribe to that more than anything else because I love the rap. I just love hip hop. You know what I'm saying? I love music in general, and I want to be able to spread my wings. You know what I'm saying? Through uh, giving someone a message. Now, with that being considered, I'm not every artist, and not every artist is me. So when artists are trying to navigate and get to the space of uh, providing our generation with content that's a lot more easy to listen towards in their ears and a lot more catchy, like for example, Lil Nas X, Old Town Road. That's not a long song, okay? Or Panini, you know what I'm saying? Or any other rapper that comes out with these two man joints and they still become a hit. Even Bry Rich, you know, comes to mind, you know what I'm saying, with the box, you know what I'm saying? Um, so artists can still get their point across. It's just, let's find ways to uh, make it a lot more simpler and give people our, get our point across by also just giving them little nuggets of wisdom, but not too much to come off too preachy. You know what I'm saying? Because nobody wants to hear a rapper come out and tell them, like, you got to do this, you got to do that, because it throws off, throws off people a lot. So, um, but yeah, man, <laughs> what you feel? You think, um, mm, it's a cool song. Yeah. Mm. What, what would you like to see Corday do? That that you that you think he can work perfecting with over time. Uh, to see him elevate and get towards the next level of like I don't know rap or. My thing is, he a type of dude like the way like he like like he rap and all that. Mm -hmm. He will rap on a trash beat and that will turn my ear on him. Okay, so you want the beats to sound like. Just don't give me no trash beat. Okay. Me, you cool. I, I think certain beats are being pitched in terms of like with an album. With an album that has a message with it. Like Kendrick Lamar's be real. Kendrick Lamar's beats don't always be like that. Yeah, right? It trash. don't necessarily always be like that. To be real. I love Kendrick, but it, 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 his production don't always be like that. Trash, so I make the song trash. Sure. But his song don't necessarily be trash though. But it's trash. It don't be trash to me. Like that. Like, what, what songs in particular? <laughs> I don't song. know what you're talking about. He said something about some stretch marks in that song. Humble? Yeah, that song's terrible. That song is not terrible, and you're tripping. Now, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, that's just his point of view, his opinion. I don't know. It's whatever. Uh, <laughs> like, comment, subscribe, and views. Put your minds out there. The link of this song will be down in our description below. Well, I mean, in my description below. That's what I get. Uh, the song we have here is called The Parables by Corday. Um, here, here's the official music video. Go right here and check it out when y'all get a chance. Uh, see if, if you like our dissection of the lyric breakdown and you know, see what, what you agree on some sides, disagree on both sides. Yeah. Does not matter. Let me know in the comments below yeah. how y'all feel. So, in the meantime, King Life, we are out.